Hey, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to get a closer look at a subwah pedal from Gig FX. Um, I, like many other bass players, we're always looking for our special sound, and this is a driving force that probably compels most of us to look at all kinds of gear and stuff like that. So when Bruce from Gig FX contacted me and said, hey, would you like to play with our subwap pedal? Of course, I was uh, very interested. Now, my own particular tastes and sounds, I've never really used a pedal all that much. So for me, this is a big kind of discovery. So I'm gonna take you along the voyage and you can kind of see uh, what you can discover about this pedal with me. So first off, I'm going to do this portion and I will be taking you to look at some of the close areas of the pedal so in the camera you're not going to be looking at it right off the bat you'll get around to seeing some of it. Um, playing on my Fernandez, this is my pa my passive bass and I wanted to do this because in the instructions the pedal does talk about it's a little sensitive if you're running through a very active bass with a hot signal and you have to kind of be careful about getting too much input on it. So I wanted to go with as, as plain as could be so that we could really see kind of what the pedal's doing. So with nothing on the pedal right now kind of in bypass mode, I'm just going to play a few notes so you can kind of hear how things sound with no modification. Okay, now let's look at some of the features of the subwoofer. And let's turn it on here. I'm going to do straight wah. Okay. Now, the sub wah is actually a feature so that we could go deeper if I had a B string on this bass, which I do have another one, and I might take it out and add a little bit but it's a hotter signal so I'll, we'll have to see how that goes but let's see what happens when we play with subwa on this okay next we're going to use the envelope or trigger portion of this and one of the suggestions that they had is this would be something good to use for kind of slapping and popping. Now, I'm not a huge slap and popper. I'm not like some of my idols like Marcus or Larry Graham or anything like that. But just to illustrate how it can sound, I'm going to try just a couple of simple things and see if you kind of get the idea. Uh, first, let's do without the slapping and popping. And then... So you get kind of a ping, kind of a brightness there that you know accentuates uh, what's going on here. Now it has an auto mode, and with the auto mode you can modify the rate of the wah. So as we turn this on, very slow, and we accelerate this. Now, another one of the controls is you can have the wah in normal or reverse mode. So that was actually in reverse. Let's see what it sounds like normal. About the fastest rate, just to kind of get an idea, kind of almost gives you what reminds me of the old tremolo. Um, back in the day when I started playing, I had a really 
um, simple amplifier and it had one pedal and the only effect it has was tremolo. And so you got something kind of like this. Now one thing much better with this pedal as compared to the old pedal on my old amplifier, uh, that amplifier used to shock me every time we touched the metal. So um, there is always a warning with any electric circuitry, you have to be careful about electric shock. So they include that in the instructions. So don't play with electricity boys and girls, it can be kind of hazardous. Um, other modifications, the way I see you would want to work with this pedal is kind of playing with it and you'd really want to sit down and kind of dial in what sound it is that you're looking for. Uh, specialized depending on the kind of music you're playing, it, this could be a very effective tool to give you that unique uh, sound. So let's take a look at the closer details for this little guy and certainly We'll get you a little additional information at the end in case you want to try one of them out and see if it's going to be right for you. Okay, let's have a closer look at some of the controls on this. I'm going to start over here. You can kind of see the tip of uh, the eraser on my pencil. And this is selecting whether you want to go wah, sub wah, envelope, or auto. This knob controls the rate and there's a little LED that kind of indicates the Ottawa rate so you know what you're looking at there. Coming around to the other side we have gain, resonance, and sensitivity, and a switch to go back and forth if you want reverse or normal on the wah. And that kind of changes the, ch uh, the sound um, when you're running it that way. There's a small LED over here, a little blue one, that when it's on, it tells you that the pedal's on, so you know when you're drawing juice or not. Let's talk a little bit about the battery power feature. Even though it is made so it can run on a 9 volt battery, it's really intended to be a temporary thing. And so they're pretty clear that if you're gigging or doing recordings, you want to make sure you're running it on an adapter because it draws quite a bit and it looks like it would probably just woof down uh, your battery before you know it. So that's an important consideration. Okay, looking at it from this angle, you can see uh, it's got quarter inch output, inputs on the other side. We have that uh, hole for the AC adapter. Here you can see how the pedal lifts. It's kind of interesting the feel of it. I wish I could convey it better, but you kind of get the idea of what we're looking at. On the bottom, let's run it here, got a battery compartment, and it's pretty clear on input output and how you're working it. Okay, well I wanted to know how things would sound with an active bass and I'm sure a lot of you that have active basses would like to know too. So I brought up my cot, got the low B, so we're going to put things to the test a little bit. So let's kind of run through the sounds that we ran through on my passive bass and see what kind of differences we're hearing with this. So we're going to start with wah. Let's try the sub wah in. Let me make a point of playing around on that B string a little bit. Okay, 
Not slapping or popping very well, but I think you get the idea. Let's try auto. We'll slow it down a little bit. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. If you and the style of music that you're playing calls for a subwa pedal to help enhance that sound, make it unique, kind of making it its own for the kind of music, then you may want to have a little look at this gig FX subwa pedal. So stay tuned to Bass Musician Magazine. We're going to keep bringing you more product reviews and we're going to be bringing you the highlights of NAMM 2013. So don't miss a beat. Stick around. We'll show you what's going on.